Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2023 ski test. Today we're going to talk about the Atomic Backland 100. Um, this is basically Atomic's most versatile, or I think it's their most versatile touring ski. Uh, 100 underfoot, you know, you can take it into a wide range of snow conditions. It's going to be appropriate for a wide range of terrain uh, and really a cool ski. Something that's interesting about Atomic is they have three skis that share pretty similar shapes all at 100 underfoot. So we have the Bent 100, we have the Maverick 100, and we have this Backland 100. This Backland 100 is 1400 grams, so quite a bit lighter than those other two skis. And even though it shares similar shapes, you know, this comes up in questions quite a bit, it is kind of its own thing. It's much more of a touring ski. Now to achieve that light weight, uh, Atomic uses an ultralight wood core in these skis. So quite a bit lighter just in the core than those backland, or excuse me, than the Bents or the Mavericks. So that really helps. And then there's no metal in this ski like we would see in the Maverick. Instead, we get carbon backbone. So you can actually see it in this little window in the graphic here. Uh, just some longitudinal strips of carbon that give the ski a lot of energy, kind of boosting stability without giving it too much weight. Um, that's about it. Those are kind of the major elements for construction. I do think it's worth pointing out this Duracap construction. So Atomic kind of pairs traditional vertical sidewalls with just a little bit of cap construction. And that's kind of giving you the best of both worlds. You get excellent power transmission from the vertical sidewalls, then you get more durability from that little bit of cap construction. And then up here in the tip, we also get Horizon Tech. So that's kind of Atomic's beveled finish to the tip. In some skis, like the Bent 100, we also see that used in the tail. In this ski, it's just in the tip. Um, so that's it for construction. Pretty darn cool construction, again, to achieve this super light feel. Um, this has a Shift 13 on it. Just wanted to double check what DIN we had. Um, and even with a binding like the Shift on here, it's still only 2,250 grams. So that's pretty darn cool. You know, there are some... There are some resort skis that hit that weight without bindings on them. So it, it just it makes it even that much more impressive that Atomic can achieve this with a binding on it. Um, and it is an Atomic branded binding as well. So you could actually get this exact setup and, and be fully Atomic. Now looking at shape, um, I was just holding the 107 up here. Compared to that 107, you get a little bit less tip rocker, mostly just in length. The splay is about the same, but the tip rocker... Oh, it starts about where my hand is. So a reasonable amount of tip rocker up there, but nothing crazy. Um, and then similar in the tail, you know, it's, it's a moderate amount of tail rocker. Nothing super, super long, not a ton of splay back here. It's not a twin tip. Um, something that I think is worth noting about these backland skis is how much taper they use in the tail. That is allowing for basically easier edge release, which really comes in handy in the backcountry. You know, you never know exactly what you're gonna encounter up there. Um, and you never really wanna feel like locked into a turn when you're in the backcountry. So despite it not having like tremendous amount of rocker back here, that taper shape just allows the tail of the ski to kind of come around behind you more naturally. Um, now, speaking to performance of this ski, it's obviously designed for somebody who's going to be going uphill as well as downhill. Um, you can ski it in the resort, but I think the best application for this ski is at least most of its use is going to be as a touring ski. It's totally fine if you're kind of the type of person that goes up and skins before the lifts open and then you want to take a couple resort laps. In fact, the very first time that I skied the Backland 100, I was just at a resort, just skiing the lift. Um, and it happened to be an industry demo day. And the Atomic rep throughout the day just kept saying, like, you got to ski the Backland 100, you got to ski the Backland 100. And somewhat reluctantly towards the end of the day, I was like, okay, sure, I will ski the Backland 100. And it totally surpassed my expectations, uh, mostly in strength and stability and responsiveness. Sometimes you don't expect those things from a ski that's this light. Um, but I thought it... It's, it's commendable how strong it is, how precise it is, how well it can hold an edge while only being 1,400 grams. It's one of those things that's like extremely counterintuitive when you pick up the ski, you don't really expect it to have those capabilities. Now the other side of it, um, and we see this with the Bent 100 and the Maverick as well, both those skis are reasonably strong, 
But when you take them off trail, when you take them into trees or, or like a tight chute somewhere, um, you start benefiting from the maneuverability and the energy side of the spectrum as well. So this ski is very quick and easy to throw side to side. That comes in handy in really any technical terrain where you need to make quick movements. So whether it's tight trees like we have here in Stowe, or you're out west and you're, you know, you're skiing like a super narrow chute. Um, and, and, you know, really both of those things, and they can be no fall zones. So you don't want to be in a situation where it's taking too much of your energy just to get the ski to move side to side. So great ski. Um, I do think it's best to put a touring binding on here. I, I feel like if you're the type of skier that's not going to do any touring, you're probably better off moving over to the Maverick 100 and just upping kind of the vibration damping from metal. You're going to get a heavier ski with that, um, but if you're not touring, that's not a major concern. So, you know, I think something like the Shift is totally fine. Atomic wouldn't like me saying this, but you could throw a Duke PT on here if you wanted something like that as well. I think those bindings are overall relatively comparable. Um, and then you could also go lighter. You know, you could go to a full tech pin binding um, especially for somebody who's never going to be riding the lifts. If you're just going to be exclusively out in the backcountry, you could certainly go lighter with your binding. Um, great ski, high performance ceiling, but not too, too hard to ski, so you don't need to be like the world's best skier to get on it. I think an intermediate, you know, that maybe you're like just getting into touring, you could ski on this ski just fine. It's not going to, it's not going to beat you up, but it will be supportive of, of stronger and more aggressive skiers, which is sweet. Um, so that's it. That's the Backland 100 from Atomic. Let us know if you have any questions about it, and we'll see you out there on the hill.